Hello and welcome to Asus UK. If you're watching this video right now, then Intel will have just officially announced their new line of CPUs, codenamed KB Lake. Now these use the same 1151 socket as the previous gen Skylake CPUs, so most of our previous motherboards will support them with a BIOS update. However, as you can see here, I also have a nice big range of brand new motherboards, which will use Intel's new Z270 chipset, which is going to give you even more features than our previous Z170 stuff. Um, so let's take a look and see all the various things that we've got going on. So what you'll find with our Z270 motherboards is that some of the features that might have only been available on one or two of the Z170 boards are now standard across the entire range. So for example, safe slot, that metal reinforcement, extra fixing to the PCB means that you've got extra protection with those big and heavy graphics cards attached to your motherboard. It's really good, I think, to have that extra protection, a little bit of peace of mind, and on all these boards, we have it on the two primary PCIe slots. So even if you're using SLI, both of your graphics cards are gonna be protected. You'll notice that every single board here has the Aura Sync logo, and that is because all of the boards here have some kind of LED customization options. So regardless of which one you go for in this range, you are gonna have that RGB LED functionality. And of course, because it's Aura Sync, you can combine that with Strix graphics cards, some of our peripherals as well, to make a really cool, unique system. Another change is the new SS1220 codec. So now you're gonna get even better eight channel audio than on our Z170 motherboards. And some of these boards have a dedicated DAC as well, but we'll have some more info on that a little bit later. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about each motherboard individually. Over on the left here, we've got the Prime Z270A. This is an updated equivalent to the Z170A from Skylake. So of course it has the same nice white styling to it. It's gonna go along really nicely with stuff like the dual 1060 graphics card, which is all white, the dual fan one, um, with the little blue accents, makes a really good combo. Of course, there are other components out there on the market, which again, have that same kind of white aesthetic. So if you're going for an all white look, definitely the one to go for. Of course, it also has all those other features you could possibly want. It's got dual PCIe M.2 slots, USB 3.1, SLI support, 3D printing customization options as well. So you really can make something like this your very own. Next up, we've got a whole range of Strix Z270 boards over on the far left there. So our first Strix motherboard was the X99. Really great features, looked awesome as well. So we've brought that down to the more mainstream platform of Z270. So like the X99 version, this is a really awesome looking board, has full Aura Sync functionality as well, so it's gonna look great. And of course, these boards are focused on great gaming performance, overclockability, without necessarily breaking the bank. All of them have got dual PCIe M.2 slots, they've all got that SS1220 audio codec, and they've got a massive range of connectivity, USB options, etc. And of course, all of these will benefit from that awesome ROG BIOS, so you can very easily get the maximum performance out of your CPU. Now there's a couple of differences between the three models. So you've got the Strix Z270e, that one's got Wi-Fi and an extra USB 3.1 port on the front panel for a total of three. The F um, has the gigabit LAN and just two 3.1 ports. And you've got the G up here, which is kind of equivalent to the Maximus 8 Gene. So that is a micro ATX version. Moving on to the far right pile over there, on top we've got the Maximus 9 Hero, which of course is the direct successor to the Maximus 8 Hero, as well as adding that Aura support, safe slot, which we're missing from Maximus 8. This has a dedicated DAC amp in there, so audio quality is going to be really, really good, comparable to buying a separate audio card. Underneath the Maximus 9 Hero, you'll also notice that we've made an upgrade to the Maximus 8 formula. This, of course, is the Maximus 9 formula. Like its predecessor, this accepts EK standard fittings, so if you're a liquid cooling enthusiast, this is definitely going to be the motherboard to go for. On top of all those awesome features that I just explained in the Hero, you've also got a built-in IO shield and a built-in motherboard backplate. So these kind of features we introduced with the Rampage 5 Edition 10, so it's really awesome to see them also on this mainstream platform as well. 
Next up, I'm excited to announce a brand new motherboard in the range. So this is the Maximus 9 Code. If you're one of those people that really like the look and the performance of the formula, but maybe you weren't a liquid cooling enthusiast, then this board is definitely the one to go for here. So it has the same armor plating on the front as the formula, but it doesn't have the EK support. It doesn't have the backplate or the IO shield. So very, very similar board, but takes away those water cooling features for those people that don't need them, but keeps a lot of the other performance. And finally at the front here, we've got our Z270 Sabertooth. So if you know anything about the Sabertooth range already, then you will know exactly what this thing is about. So you've got increased temperature sensing options, increased fan control, that extended five year warranty, dual gigabit ethernet. So absolutely perfect for any workstation systems or anything you're running flat out all of the time. And of course, it's got a lot of the great features that are common to all these boards. So we've got Aura Sync and dual M.2s on there as well. So there you have it. That is a quick introduction to the Z270 launch range. Do let us know in the comments which of these boards you're most excited about, or if there's a particular feature that you really, really like. Personally, I think it's awesome that we've got Aura Sync over all of these boards. I know previously in Z170, you were limited a little bit if you wanted that RGB control, but now we've just put it on everything. So regardless of your preference, you can always get that lighting control. As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. See you later. ASUS.